Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of Jenna on the Princess of Snow and Blood. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, what the fuck is about to happen today? Because she's... Okay, her brother is now dead. For real this time. Um, she's killed the one person who's been in her way and getting revenge for for a long time. What the hell could she do now? What is Sawa and everybody else going to do? Like, especially Shodali's character. Like, what you about to do? There, there's two many things of what they can do. Because, like, see, we don't really know how many episodes this show is supposed to get. That's the thing. I'm guessing it has to be at least maybe 12 to 13. They could drag it on to 24 if they really want to. But what else can you put? You technically have finished her, her story. So do we go to like Hana or Shota Aoi's character or Asahi like and getting a little more clarity on them? There's a lot of unanswered questions that they really could possibly work into. But something tells me this is just going to be a twelve. You know what? When we're done with this episode and before I finish and um, watch Saint, I'm going to look up to see how many episodes this has. Because it's either 12 or 20. I don't know. Because To Your Eternity has 20. But, like, I don't know. That's the thing. Mm. Oh. So What? So now, oh, well, yeah. Y'all fucking kidding me, right? Y'all literally decided to just, yeah, we killing her. We killing Umi from Love Live. Damn. So I'm guessing the burial was for her brother. Stubborn. Yeah, so what the hell we doing now? You know what? I'm going to be stupid. What if she pregnant? I mean... Sawa. Yeah, but she doesn't want to do anything anymore. You get that, but... 
what your brother would have wanted as well. But for him to die like that, that was fucked up. Like, I'm sorry. She's the best girl. Oh my god, I love her so much. Now, bird, if you start talking. Yeah, you pregnant. You pregnant. Mm. Yeah, how that new arm doing, bro? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Nana? Like French onion soup? Well, unfortunately, Asahi, you're too young, baby. It wouldn't surprise me that, like, possibly later on in this episode, she does transform into, you know, whatever the fuck Sawa transforms into. You know, what I consider, quote, unquote, a magical girl or something. But who knows? Is it good? Of course she was. <laughs> So now, what exactly are you going to use those vials for? 
<clears throat> I still really want to know why she's hiding the fact that she's a woman. I mean, it's because of the fact is, okay, being a woman essentially in this series makes you weak, even though we got three badass women in this show. Technically four if you add Asahi. And something else that tells me the next time Elena and Sawa see her, they're probably going to want to kill her. Not ask questions or anything. Just straight up kill her. Is that ibuprofen? Yeah, because, you know, unfortunately, it'd be really weird if she went up and just left the series now. Now we ain't gonna know if she alive. <laughs> probably for like an episode or two, but she probably is. Yeah, she's pregnant. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's obvious as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just get time off. Maybe I don't know. Like, yeah, how do you? Elena. Elena, seriously, honestly, if you get killed, that's homicide. We don't want that. Yeah. 
The fact that she can still kick ass and she pregnant. Mm. Ooh. Because we don't need you to fall on your stomach, baby. Well, she hesitated, damn it. She was thinking about her brother. She's traumatized by it. It's supposed to. It's PTSD, babe. Oh, we, we know. <laughs> yeah, because you know. Mm -hmm. Bitch, hold up. You pregnant? You want to smoke? <laughs> Oh, never mind. She's having the thing. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, yeah. It's a good question. See, the, now it makes me wonder, especially what they're going to do. Since Shota Aoi's character, Suki, and now Elena are now going to be out of this, are we going to do a flash forward to the future where she's not pregnant anymore? And, you know, is Suki alive, dead, some shit? Because she's not pregnant anymore. Because something tells me they're going to come back. Especially, I think, with Elena. Because Elena just enjoys it too much. So there's no way in hell. Like, she's just... Oh, damn. Um, Gonna pick up, say no, and then just have a kid and have a normal life. We know. But yeah, literally, what, what the fuck are they going to do now? So, did, did you take 
You, you killed Elena? <laughs> if this mofo killed Rochelle, <laughs> a racist villain, we got problems! God damn, y'all killing all three of the main characters of this. What the hell? Hold up. No, 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 <laughs> Time out. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Stop fucking everything. First you kill Suki, aka Shota Aoi. And then I'm thinking Rochelle's okay. Elena's okay. She's pregnant. She's leaving. She's about to have a better life. Maybe she might come back. No. Her and the guy, her freaking ghostwriter, are now dead. Plus, the baby is now dead. And this son was like, yeah, you know, I see he's like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kill you now. You know, mm -hmm, eat this. She gave this to me. What the fuck is going on? Y'all can't do this. Y'all can't do this. No, 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 no. So, like, the only thing that I can think of is Jun. Jun fucking did some shit because of the fact is, yes, technically these two maybe betrayed him or some shit because Elena was pregnant and Suki did the shit that she did. What the, what the fuck is this show? What the fuck is gonna happen now? Technically, no, so was dead because she ate the thing. What? Oh, fuck. I can't. I can't. I can't. What is this? Explain that shit. Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all can't do that. That. That's. Mm-mm. No. No. You can't. I, I, I can't accept this. I cannot accept this bullshit because this is absolute bullshit. Who the hell is the main character now? I see. Y'all really, Bushimo, Bushimo and the other creator of this damn series, what the fuck are y'all doing? Honestly, what the fuck are y'all doing? I'm thinking this was going to be a really interesting, nice revenge story that was going to have a happy ending for everybody, and it, Sawa was going to die at the end of this damn series, everybody was going to be able to move on from it, maybe Asahi was going to do something. This series went from one way to the other. I don't know what the hell is going on. I just froze for a second. Oh. What the... Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and see how many episodes this show is going to have. Because I... Oh, God. Judon, what, what, what are we doing today? What is we doing today? Oh. My effing God. <laughs> She's like, are you serious? Make sure I'm spelling it right, J-O-R. R-A-N. The princess is still up blood. Okay. Um. Let's see. Twelve. <laughs> we got twelve. Yo. I, just, <laughs> I can't. How are you now going to explain slash conclude this story? In, in almost less than six weeks. Explain that, please. Because you just killed everybody. Everyone is technically dead except us and the leader. <laughs> and so
something tells me to kill those two. Oh my god, come on, man. Like, seriously, that's so fucked up. I wanted Elena to have a better life with her child. Even though she was like, I hate kids. I can't stand kids. And she tells her ghostwriter that, yeah, she's pregnant and it's yours. But, of course, she's lying to him because, yes, she's a prostitute and she sleeps with anyone. So, it could have been any of the fucking suitors that she slept with up from episode one up to episode four. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. And then Suki. What the fuck was that shit? Like, now, he, he she got shot because... She lied about not having the gemstones, which she clearly did. But who knows if she's actually dead? And that's kind of almost the same thing with Elena and stuff. Even though, like, yes, that's blonde hair and everything, they could have just faked their deaths or some shit, but we ain't really gonna know until next week. What the fuck is this show now? Like, really? W what are we doing now? Mm-hmm. Explain. You, you literally killed... You killed Rochelle from Raise of Sillin and Umi from Love Live. All that's left is Anissa from Popping Party. Like, what are you doing, show? <laughs> what are we doing? Explain, please, because we need more context clues by next week. But other than that, guys, that is where you actually read towards episode 5 of Judd on the Princess of Snow and Blood. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 6. Bye, guys. <laughs>